Hello, I'm Semily Sherry of Triple Moon and as we're coming to the end of the year, the end of 2018, I've sort of been looking back and seeing the theme that's been um, running throughout the year. And for me, it's very much been, and I think for many others, it's very much been about balancing your own personal needs for uh, space and freedom and, uh, and playtime <laughs> and also duties, responsibilities and community community being a massive theme for this year. No more being the lone wolf, no more going it alone. It's all about working together. And even recently, um, when I was in my women's circle meeting, I realised, and I, I hadn't realised quite how strongly, I realised in that moment when I had the space and the freedom to play and to kind of drop everything that I had spent the last few weeks very much caught up in my, I'm going to call them adult, but I think you know what I mean, kind of grown up responsibilities, duties, making sure everything gets done around the house and cooking and, and uh, looking after others, all of that. And my little inner child had not had quite enough playtime. And so given that space, it was like, wee! I felt my whole body just relax and give way um, and it was such a beautiful thing. I actually wrote a poem about it. If you want to go and see my blog, it's called The Gift, about allowing that, that child to come out to play uh, more often and more regularly. Um, and so as this is the end of the year and we're moving towards the festive holiday season, however you celebrate that, whether it's Christmas or Hanukkah or Yule or just the winter solstice, um, it can be a very stressed and pressured time when, um, when actually our own need for space and uh, expression um, and quality of time for ourselves can go completely out of the window. And so for my last message of the year, I just wanted to ask you if you can to kind of carry on that theme of balancing your own needs with the needs of your community, your family, with those around you healthily so that you carry that theme through into the new year when we develop this new sustainable way of being that we've been working with and, and sort of envisioning this year. So you know, if you are making a huge feast, if you've got loads of family coming round, if you've got a massive family with loads of gifts to buy, I just wanted to say very simply that I honestly believe that a simple meal or a very simple gift prepared and offered with a willing and joyful heart carries far more beautiful energy with it than a very complicated elaborate feast or a very expensive gift would carry if it was given in a stressed and resentful way. And I'm not saying that lightly, I, I really do believe that. You know, if we believe everything has energy, which we do, then you're not just offering up food or a gift or your presence. You are offering the energy behind that. And if you have looked after yourself, if you are feeling full and able to give from that space, then it will be much more effectively received. It will do the community, the family, your loved ones, much more good if it's given from that place. So it's a very simple message really. Um, but one that was brought home to me again recently. So I wish you, however you celebrate um, the coming weeks, a very blessed, peaceful and joyful festive season. And I really look forward to seeing you in 2019. It's going to be a very exciting year.